So I'm back home, wife's back home. I am tired, but she's actually editing her. This is taking your first music video, right? It is my first music video. Yes, my right. first and my last. <laughs> first and last, oh. I mean, I like music videos are cool, but I think I'll only do it like that when you're the main person. <laughs> I, don't, I, I think, I think music videos are not my thing. Well, you learned. But I'm learning. I'm learning for sure. Yeah. Show them. Show them some of the shots. <laughs> All right, so the kind folks over at Moment sent me their new Cine Bloom Diffusion Filter. We got the 82 mil. So today, um, my wife and I are gonna actually go out and give it a test. I'm gonna compare it to my four x five diffusion filter from Dream Effects. So, I'm just pop this in the matte box. Let's go on a little adventure. So graceful. So as you can see, the results are very interesting. Um, I know the Dream Effects filter, the one I have, isn't that strong. I think this is one of the... <laughs> I think this is one of the, uh, probably like a pre-production one that got sent to me a while ago and I just never followed up on it. But you can see like the 10% from the Moment filter is pretty, it's milky, right? It's kind of, it's, it's, it's much lower contrast in that shot. Okay, editor just were here. Um, and man, I bet the lighting's really bad. But anyway, so as you can see here, even though the image looks very milky, if you just bring down the contrast a little bit, it matches really well with the Dream Effects filter. And that's something that's good to know. Um, you can actually change your intensity of how you want your contrast um, in post. So that's something to note. Yeah, it's very interesting results for what I have. Um, I've been using the Dreams Fix filter for the last like eight months, early since early in the year, because I pre-ordered that thing a while ago. Um, and it came to me, so yeah, very interesting results, but um, definitely gonna shoot some more with the Moment filter. So the lens I use is the uh, 21 mil from SLR Magic, the Micro Prime, and that already has a little bit of um, halation in it, a little bit of blooming, which I like as a character. So strengthening that with uh, other filters just amplifies that. Now you'll definitely get a more <laughs> uh, stronger look. Now I typically don't like using photo lenses and putting um, like filters, softening filters on it because it just gets this weird clash of sharp and then trying to be soft at the same time. That's what I see. So that's why I haven't tested it with like the Sigma 1835 or anything like that. So I'm just testing on the lenses that I already have. So I just wanna just throw that out there. Uh, say hi. No. Um, so that was really just a quick and dirty test. Um, so you guys can see now the results do vary, like I said before, because my Dream Effects filter is a little bit less strong. Because if you watch Spencer's video, he definitely did a test on the same filter and his was like, boom, it just blew out of control. So very interesting to see that. Um, that's why you test your stuff always and compare it. But um, yeah, until then, I catch you guys on the next vlog. Bye.